Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people, Tinibu does not sleep, and Tinibu is a workaholic, but the economy is sleeping. Tinibu does not sleep, and Tinibu is a workaholic. The insecurity in Nigeria here yeah, is rising by the day. Tinibu does not sleep, and Tinibu is a workaholic. The Nera have slept a long time ago. Tinibu does not sleep, and Tinibu is a workaholic. That is the propaganda that the spokesperson for President Bola Ahmed Tinibu is using to deceive Nigerians, all right? So while speaking in an interview with Shanes TV on Friday, March 29th, the spokesperson for Tinibu, Ajuri Ngelele, has restated that President Bola Tinibu is a workaholic leader who works around the clock to feed the country. The truth is that his words are just gibberish because people are not seeing the results. The only result we are seeing is economic hardship, insecurity, unemployment, lack of foreign investment, and lack of infrastructure development. All right, I'm going to let you guys watch the video, but please help us like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend us to more people. Thank you. The man is a workaholic, uh, which is why some of us in the office joke, uh, we call him President No Sleep, uh, because uh, so those of us who work with him also don't get to sleep as a result. I think people would be surprised to hear you say that. Um, yeah, uh, people, Do you think people, he gets a fair, fair press treatment? Well, well I, I, I think I would leave that uh, in, in the uh, field of, uh, in the domain of public opinion, but I would say this. Uh, I think Nigerians recognize, even from his time in Lagos, that this is a man who will wake up at odd hours, touring roads, touring various projects, making sure the civil servants are in the office on time. I mean, this is a hands-on micromanager who is antsy when he's not working. He needs to be working. His hands need to be working. Yeah. Uh, he sleeps late. He wakes up extremely early. Uh, this is who uh, Nigerians have elected. I think one of the... One of the uh, things that maybe most Nigerians would not know about him, uh, having had the opportunity uh, of working closely with him, is that he's probably the best listener I've ever seen uh, in terms of my interactions with leaders. This man will listen to you speak, even if it's a presentation of 30 minutes, and he will reel out in detail almost everything that you have said. And not only will he reel out what you've said, but as he's doing so, he will, he, will, he will be cross-checking the weaknesses and strengths of your presentation. He will tell you, this is what I think should be, it can be done better. I like this idea. I mean, this is the detail uh, orientation of the man. Uh, he's very brilliant. He listens. He works hard. Uh, and ultimately, I believe that with the political will that he's always demonstrated, uh, he is the president that I think will take Nigeria to the destiny all of us um, have sought for our country. Well, we're going to hold you uh, to those words because we desperately need the change. Chief, Chief Ajuri Engelele, Special Advisor to the President, Media and Publicity. Of course, he is the presidential spokesperson. Uh, thank you for giving us all that insight on the renewed hope infrastructure. Thank you so much, Juliana. It's always a privilege to be with you. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, the administration of uh, President Mohamedou Buhari before now uh, had obviously kind of kick-started the process of infrastructural renewal uh, with five new international airports, uh, three new high-speed rail lines uh, in different regions of the country, and of course, uh, the new Lucky Deep Sea port, the first uh, new seaport in over 40 years, uh, many roads and bridges, etc. Now, uh, that was a good start, but we recognize that in view of 50 years worth of infrastructural deficit, uh, there is so much more that needs to be done, which is why President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh is not just continuing, but is picking up the pace uh, with acceleration and a widened scope of infrastructure projects uh, to ensure that we have an infrastructural backbone effectively to support uh, this aggressive push for foreign direct investment that he's been making around the world uh, since assuming office. Uh, to be very specific, uh, we are going to be uh, fixated on multiple sectors of the economy uh, with uh, new infrastructure projects. You're going to be looking at new power plants. You're going to be looking at uh, several new dams across the country. You're going to be looking at uh, new irrigation systems so that we can have our farmers, uh, you know, producing high yields and high quality of high yields uh, you know, uh, across all seasons uh, of the year, uh, which had not been obtainable for many of uh, many decades now in many arid parts of the country. Uh, in addition to that, 
the president is, is leveraging on uh, the new Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund to also deal decisively with, uh, you know, putting in place new oil and gas pipelines, uh, you know, new airports around the country and expansion of existing airports so that we can have world-class terminals that can accommodate the type of traffic that we envisage having over the course of the next several years with Mr. President's current investment push. Uh, again, uh, new seaports. Right now, the president uh, is already investing over one billion U.S. dollars in the reconstruction uh, of Nigeria's seaport infrastructure. So in addition to the new seaport in Lekki, for example, uh, the president is saying, look, we can't have all of our seaport activity uh, being, uh, you know, concentrated in western Nigeria. We need to open up all of our seaports, go back to our eastern seaports uh, that have a lot of value to offer. Uh, make sure that that infrastructure is totally reconstructed, ensure that the access roads in and out of those ports are reconstructed in such a way that we can facilitate uh, import and export flows into and out of the country. This is ultimately, these are the, the, the factors that investors are uh, assessing when they're making investment decisions as to whether they should bring their money into Nigeria or Morocco or Egypt or South Africa or Kenya or any other competitive country in the African continent. Uh, we're going to ensure that we position Nigeria through this fund uh, to deal with, uh, you know, those, uh, those, those enabling bits of infrastructure uh, that will ultimately make life easier for our business people, make life easier for our citizens, uh, and facilitate the movement of goods, services, and people in such a way that uh, we can unlock this economy for the benefit of all Nigerians. All right, my people, that is it. Well, a lot of Nigerians has reacted to this news, which I'll be taking some comments for you guys. And the first person here said, When will you stop this, your lies? Are you not a living soul in Nigeria? What was the state of the economy in Met or Gan? What is it presently? Even power supply alone is brought down to zero level. His minister of power is a misfit, the worst in history that is soiling the image of the regime, if at all they even have any. And so, another person also commented, saying, Who is he working for? As long as the citizens are in serious hunger, the president is not working. To citizens, the president is only working when all citizens that voted him into office are well fed. Otherwise, he is not working. And the last comment I'll be taking here says, Aju Ungelele, how many times will you tell us that Tinibu is a workaholic and doesn't sleep? Who do you want to impress with this your statement now? Enough, please. If Tinibu doesn't sleep, then he is sick. And if Tinibu is a workaholic, like you said, it means that he is unable to limit the time he spent working like a normal human being, and which will certainly have negative consequences on his head. So, my people, that is it. We all know that this statement from Ajuri is just propaganda, alright? Because this Tinibu government has brought nothing but hardship, insecurity, unemployment, amongst others, to Nigerians. So my people, that is it for you all. Please let me know your opinion in the comment section. And please help us to like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend us to more people. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Amen.